welcome to the West Hampton Middle School. We think you're really gonna like it here. I remember feeling nervous when I was in your shoes last year. Ooh, watch out! We want you to feel at home when you join us on September 1st, so I gathered some friends to help show you around and answer some questions you've had. We also have some helpful tips for you along the way. I promise, it's not as scary as it looks. Trust me. Alright, let's get started. Welcome, Welcome to West Hampton Middle School. Hi, I'm Liz and I'm in 7th grade. Hi, I'm Lily and I'm in 7th grade. Hi, I'm Jasper and I'm in 8th grade. Hi everyone, welcome to the West Hempstead Middle School. My name is Miss Denise. I sit here at the front desk of the middle school. Won't you all come in and join us? Students are allowed into the building at 7.45 a.m. First period starts at 7.55, so you'll have enough time. So los estudiantes pueden entrar a las 7.45 y las clases van a pensar a las 7.55, so tienes mucho tiempo para entrar. There are nine periods in the day and each period is 41 minutes. You have four minutes between each class period, so you'll have enough time to get to each class. So hay nueve clases en total y cada clase son 40 minutos en total. Y tienes cuatro minutos para cambiarte de una clase a la otra, que tienes mucho tiempo. We recommend going to your locker first when you get here, before your lunch, and at the end of the day to pack up. So recomendamos que entres a la, a la locker antes de ir a la clase antes de un recreo y después cuando ya vas a empacar y irte a la casa. In September, in the beginning of the school year, you'll have time to practice your locker code, so no need to worry. En el principio del, es, del año de la escuela vas a poder practicar usar las lockers, o vas a tener mucho tiempo a usarlas. This is Mike, the middle school security guard. He can help you if you get your locker oh. stuff. Uh, he has the keys, everything, so if you need help, ask him. Él es Mike, la de la seguridad, y si necesitas ayuda con algo, por ejemplo, un jardín de locas, el te puede ayudar, te pone la llave. Let's go into the main office. Oh, hi. This is Mr. Pumo, the assistant principal. Hello. How are you, everyone? I look forward to working closely with you next year and uh, officially welcoming you into our school in September. I know it's going to be a great two years. This is Ms. Ventura, the principal secretary. This is the señora Ventura, the secretary del director. Hi, this is Mr. Pumo, the assistant principal. Hi everybody! You're probably going to see me in other videos, but I'm your principal, I'm here to help. Anything you might need, please do not be afraid to come visit and ask. My, my job is about helping you solve your problems. This is Ms. Rivera, the school counselor. This is Senora Rivera. And this is Ms. Coughlin, the school psychologist. This is Senora Coughlin. And this is Ms. Loveliner, the school social worker. This is Ms. Senora Loveliner. And this is Ms. Sigmund's room, the other counselor, and her office is upstairs by the breezeway. This is Senora Sigmund, and the cuarto is Hi, students. Welcome to West Hempstead Middle School. I will be your counselor for many of you for grades 7, 8, and 9, because um, I have some of the high school students. Welcome, I can't wait to meet you. This is the fact class like the classroom. This is the class on the plan this can ask them how you are. These are some other classrooms. And the classroom to the left is the student support center. Esta clase te puede ayudar con tu tarea que tienes perdido. And this is the growth bathroom. Esto es la baño de la niña. To the left is the library. Aquí está la biblioteca. And down the stairs, make sure you keep left because COVID safety. The boys' bathroom is to the right. Ahí está this la is baño de la niña. This is the staircase. Las carreras para vivir. This is the science hallway. Eso es la clase de la ciencia. This is where all the science classes are.
if you walk up the stairs to the left, there's another hallway. Si vas a ver de las cadenas en internet, en vas a la izquierda hay más clases. Uh, to the right and left, you just have some faculty rooms and some closets. And to the right, you have the band room. Aquí es la clase de banda. Uh, and then you have some eighth grade classrooms. Aquí hay clases de la grado ocho. And then to the left, you have the music room slash course room. Es la clase de música. And to the right, you have the nurse. Es la enfermera. Now, if you go right, past the doors, and then you make a left, you have the gym. Esto es la gimnasio. Okay, then if you go around the gym, there's another exit that will take you upstairs. Esto es otra salida para que vas para vida de las carreras, para más clases. So right next to the gym entrance, there's the stairs to go upstairs. Aquí ya. Las carreras para ir para vida. Hi. We have a question for you. What are teams? So here at the middle school, we have academic teams. Teams are a group of students who all share the same teachers for your core content area classes. Because it's a smaller group of students rather than the whole grade, it allows your teachers to get to know you better and you to build relationships with your peers. So throughout the school year, we're going to have lots of fun events and activities to build your teams and have fun together. Thanks, Ms. Coglin. You're welcome. To the right, you have an English classroom and a social studies classroom. Es la clase de inglés y historia. And to the left, you have a Spanish classroom. And to the right, you also have a Spanish and a math classroom. Es son, las dos son clases de español y también de matemática. And then another classroom over here is back to the English classroom. Math classes. Now to the right, you have Mr. Kimberly's system office. Um, to the left, you have the boys and girls bathroom. Aquí son las baños de las niñas y niñas. And to the right and left, you have some more bathrooms. Hay más clases. Like for example, that's Miss Bolino, Spanish teacher. Esto es otra um, profesora de español. And the health room. Es la clase de salud. And then you have another stairway going down on the opposite side. Más carreras, yendo para abajo. Which leads you right back down to the entrance. <coughs> we know you all had some questions, so we're going to answer some of them. Um, they're very helpful during the whole COVID situation. Like they try so hard since like they're not really used to teaching online. So they try hard to um, make us comfortable and like, you know, yeah. Um, they're very nice and like they care about your um, education and like they can help you with anything you can just ask a question. Like they say they'll help you out. They'll play, do less, they give you less work now. And, um, they, they're always there for you. I don't get a lot of homework. Uh, but a lot of teachers don't really give homework. I mean, some do. And then tests, there's not a lot of them during the school year. And if you really need help, you could either ask a teacher or go to student support or extra help. I got used to the lockers by practicing my combination and like keeping it in my head. Sometimes if I needed help, there's always teachers like near. For me, my locker was near Miss Healy and Mr. B's room, so whenever I needed help, one of them would come and help me with it. I made new friends in middle school by talking to people in my class and group help 
this project really helped a lot. You can talk to your friends a lot at lunch. And maybe clubs will help too. Maybe people. Try to stay out of drama because if you get in drama, then you're gonna get in trouble a lot, and you might not be able to focus on things that are actually important, like your like academic um, curriculum things. So yeah, and that you don't need to be bad or hang out with popular kids to fit in. All you have to do is be yourself, and you'll get many friends. And if your friends can't accept you for who you are, they're not cool. So that's what's comes in middle school in a nutshell. We hope our tour and tips were helpful, and remember, like Mr. Murray says in middle school, you will make mistakes, but you will also grow and learn. So do your work, talk to new people, ask for help when you need it, but remember to have fun, and always be you. See you guys soon!